Tonight, cars are still getting towed out across the valley after those high winds and blowing conditions brought visibility down to zero and turned the roads, interstates and highways into parking lots. Valley News Team's crime and safety reporter Bailey Hurley spoke with two drivers who braved the blizzards from their vehicles. She also drove along with law enforcement as they helped dig out passengers. This was Kelly Grady getting humbled by Mother Nature just hours after stepping off a plane from a Costa Rican vacation. You got to face the music. I guess he enjoyed the uh, tropics too much. <laughs> Trying to make their way back to their homes in Thompson, Grady, his wife and two friends found themselves stranded on I-29 just south of Gardner. And that's where they would stay for 11 hours. It was like we just went into a different world. It was you couldn't see a thing. We were looking at the edge of the road with flashlights so we could see the the uh, rumble strip. So we were just I was telling him five feet, three feet. I've never, ever been in anything like that. The night was just as scary and as long for Nikki Knight, who was trying to make it from Alexandria to Moorhead on I-94. When you finally realize, like, we're not going anywhere, that's kind of the scary part. While both Knight yeah, and Grotty were able to get back on the road themselves, others weren't so lucky, as many found themselves stuck in feet of snow, hoping law enforcement or a tow truck could save them. In a rare move, Sheriff Jesse Johnner says his deputies had to deploy snowmobiles Tuesday night to save a driver who had been stuck for more than six hours, was out of fuel and starting to get cold. We tried to make it there with a squad car initially and uh, we were unsuccessful doing that. Um, so then at that point we deployed the snowmobile, we were all going to be able to rescue that person. He says not being able to get to people is a helpless feeling. But it's why his office has both a plow truck and snowmobiles to make sure a call for help doesn't go unanswered. But certainly if people call 911 or they, you know, they have an emergency, they expect that law enforcement is going to be able to get to them and it's unacceptable if we can. In sharing their stories, all three hope it prompts you to never underestimate Mother Nature. Sheriff Johnner reminding to always have a full tank of gas, blankets, extra coats, food and water in your vehicle no matter how short your journey. Bailey Hurley, Valley News Live.